Fuel subsidies are often put in place to make fuel more affordable for citizens, especially those in lower income brackets. However, these subsidies can also strain government budgets and discourage investments in cleaner, more sustainable forms of energy. It's a complex issue, but here are some tips on how to handle fuel subsidies without pushing citizens into poverty. Gradual reduction of subsidies, an abrupt end to fuel subsidies could lead to a sudden increase in prices, impacting low-income households. A gradual reduction can give citizens and the economy time to adjust. Targeted subsidies, instead of a broad subsidy that covers everyone, consider targeted subsidies for the most vulnerable groups. This approach is more sustainable and ensures assistance goes to those who need it most. Direct cash transfers, as subsidies are reduced, implementing direct cash transfers to low-income households can help offset the increased cost of fuel. This has been used in countries like Iran and Indonesia with some success. Public transportation, improve public transportation to provide an affordable alternative to private vehicles. This can reduce individual fuel costs and also has environmental benefits. Alternative energy, encourage and invest in alternative energy sources. This can help reduce the country's dependence on fossil fuels and could also create new jobs. Energy efficiency, promote energy efficient appliances and practices. This can help reduce overall energy consumption and thereby the impact of fuel cost increases. Education and communication, ensure citizens understand why fuel subsidies are being reduced and what measures are being put in place to support them during the transition. Clear, transparent communication can help maintain public support. Economic diversification, encourage diversification of the economy to create more opportunities and reduce dependence on subsidized fuel. Reinvest savings, Use savings from subsidy reductions to invest in public goods like healthcare, education, and infrastructure. This can help improve the overall standard of living and offset the impact of increased fuel prices. Social safety nets, strengthen social safety nets to protect the most vulnerable. This could include unemployment benefits, food assistance programs, and other forms of support. Remember, it's crucial to carefully analyze the potential impacts of reducing fuel subsidies on various groups within the population, especially the most vulnerable. Effective policy will require a balanced approach, taking into account economic, social, and environmental factors.